I'm expecting good things from Tottenham. Move on to preview the UEFA Super Cup final. And it's uh uh, it's weird that we call this the UEFA. Actually, technically, maybe I'm saying it wrong. It's just the UEFA Super Cup. But I've heard it be called the UEFA Super Cup final. Why are you saying UEFA Super Cup final? It's not really a final. These, these, um, you know, it's only one game, this whole tournament, but okay. Or this game. Uh, but Kylian Mbappe is going to make his competitive, or probably, I don't think he played preseason, so he's going to make his Real Madrid debut in the Super Cup against Atalanta. Real Madrid, they were able to reach, you know, be in this game because of the fact that they won the Champions League. Um, and they did that in supreme fashion, being able to get past Borussia Dortmund. Atlanta, on the other hand, they were able to beat, um, well, I, I'm talking about just the final, but obviously winning the Champions League is a whole process, you know. You know, it's a whole tournament that you're having to get there. So they won the Champions League and in the final they defeated Borussia Dortmund. And Atlanta, they were able, to, they won the Europa League last season, and they did it in supreme dominant fashion in the final, where they were able to defeat Bayer Leverkusen three 0 Keep in mind, Bayer Leverkusen, they won, all, they lost one game in all competitions last season, and that was the only game they lost in all competitions last season, which shows the kind of remarkable feat Atlanta were able to do, were able to achieve in that final. They won three 0 uh, Lukman, Lukman had a hat trick in that final, in that sort of historic final Europa League final performance that go down in lights. This game will be played in the in the in, the, in um, Warsaw, Poland. Uh, uh, will be hosting this game, uh, the uh, the national stadium in Warsaw. You're gonna have about fifty eight thousand fans there, and I trust me, it's gonna be packed with Mbappe's first real debut for Real Madrid. You know, and he's going to be ready to make his debut. Uh, Carlo Ancelotti said Madrid, uh, Mbappe is in good shape um, and he's been adapting well to the team. And Ancelotti said in the press conference that Mbappe could play tomorrow. I'm assuming Mbappe is going to play. I think he might even start. And he joins a team full of stars with Vinicius Jr., Jude Bellingham, um, Rodrigo. Um, with the new, there's also another new signing, Endrik, who I think has a less, a little bit less of a chance of making his Real Madrid debut tomorrow. Uh, a lot less of a chance to make his Real Madrid debut tomorrow. But um, but there's gonna be players. There's gonna be players. Um, and uh, uh, you know, it's interesting. Gian Piero Gasparino saying it's gonna be essentially difficult for Atlanta to have that sort of sim similar season um, that they had last season. He said the team has weakened, um, not not in the press conference today, but I'm talking about, I heard this about a few weeks ago, uh, a, a, a few weeks ago that he came out and said, uh, 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 you know what, I'm not going to put words in his mouth, so I'm kind of... I'm going to read exactly what he said. While I pull that up. But overall, I think this game has a chance to be um, be interesting. Uh, oh, he said they're much less competitive um, uh, than they were at the end of last season. Um, which is an interesting thing to say. Uh, you know, we know that they lost Tio and Copen Miners when he joined Juventus, and um, and uh, Gianluca Scamoc Scamoca and Giorgio Scalavini. They both are ACL injuries, and they're going to be out for probably all of this season. And so, you know, he says, uh, Sperino said, Atlanta are much less competitive than end of last season. Um, it's inevitable that it's turned out like this, but at the moment, the season has already become complicated. We had two very serious injuries, two crucial ligaments in practically three games with Scalvini and Scamaca, and then the Cup minor situation. Three technically gifted and economically valuable players for the team and the club. So, you know, they've had a little bit of a rough preseason, but they're coming in on good momentum from what they did build at the end of last season. And Atalanta generally have not been afraid to... To put, you know, 
to uh what's the word to they're not afraid to be competitive in these games um they're not afraid to go after these teams um to play high and to you know to go for it against these teams they play with supreme confidence they play with supreme ability and and they they, they uh, um they they show the spirit of Gian Piero Gasperino they they really est um, establish the spirit that he has he has provided for the team and they're a very very good team they are very very good they have some quality there despite play the players that they've lost and so i think it makes it i think it's going to be a very fun game um very open ended game i think both teams will go for it i think a lot of i think both teams will go, really go for it in this game i think we'll see the best teams from these two teams i think this is a trophy that you know this is not like the community shield in terms of uh will this team take a seriously or not i think then the fact that there's that added element this is a european trophy and I think this is going to be taken a little bit more seriously. I think it will be taken very, very seriously. I know I've seen, you've seen teams in the past, they've, you know, they've took it seriously. And I don't expect that to be any different here. I think we're going to see some real quality across both sides of the pitch. Uh, um, and obviously, Real Madrid are the clear favorites. They, you know, they, it's Real Madrid's nature. It's Real Madrid's tradition. If there's a trophy on the line, you show up, you win it, and you win it. And supreme fashion. That's just the nature of being Real Madrid. That's just the. That's just the nature of Real Madrid. That's just the the belief of Real Madrid. Um, you're in a tr you're playing for a trophy. By nature, they're gonna give it everything that they have, and they're gonna and everything's gonna break for them, and they're gonna get that trophy. That's just what they are, and I see it being no different today. I think. Real Madrid, or today, tomorrow, whatever you want to call it, I think Real Madrid will get this victory over Atalanta. Um, I think the big time players will show up for them. I think the experience will see them through, and I think um, Atalanta, you know, they're coming in on off of a little bit of a rough preseason with the injuries lost. Um, so yeah, um, but I think overall it's gonna be a good game and. I'm very interested to see if Mbappe will be able to make that debut in this game. Show break here coming up. When we come back, we'll react to some of the top soccer headlines.